Hi makers, today we're going to talk about components in Adalo. So for those of you who are not familiar with Adalo, components are the building blocks of your app's design. And each component comes with very specific styles and settings to make your app look unique. So let's look first at how components are added to each screen in Adalo. When you come into Adalo, you'll notice that this navigational element is always kind of out for you. And if it's not out for you right now, you can go ahead and click the plus button and you'll find it pretty easy. So first, when you select a component, you can go ahead and drag and drop it on the screen. And again, in order to make your screens design, you can just add several components on top of each other. And you're starting to see what kind of looks like an app and the buttons probably down here more likely. And so again, this kind of is starting to look like what maybe your app is going to look like at the end. If I take a look at the app that I've started with, this rental management app, we have several screens on here that are already made up of several different components. And each one of these components obviously looks a little bit different. They've already have a lot of styling applied to them. For example, our images have very rounded corners. Um, our buttons have icons on them. Um, our icons here are green and they inherit our primary color for this app. All of this is kind of, these decisions are made at the component level. Components are unique in that they've got two very specific pieces of functionality outside of the design. One is that components can accept data. And by that, I mean they can utilize things like magic text or they use um, a list to display records from your database um, or they use database properties to control things like visibility, conditional actions, filtering. And then there's other components that have the ability to create or add data through actions. So let's walk through some examples of components that interact with data in order to understand kind of what this functionality is specifically. So here are a couple of different examples. Here I've got a list and this list doesn't have any information in it right now. We know this because we can't see that anything is selected here. Also, there is no information that is populating here in these text boxes. And so in order to connect this list, which is a component, um, to the data, we go ahead and come into these properties and we're gonna select that this is a list of listings. And now you can see that this list is going to accept some sort of properties from um, our database. Next, we've got a text component. Uh, a text component over here and we can go ahead and add the current listings name here. And now you see that a chip has appeared in this text area and that just lets us know that this information is going to be dynamic in this component. Next there are form components and form components are the way that we create and edit data inside of Adalo and so when you're setting up a form, we're going to ask specifically about what you're trying to do with this form. So in here, we're creating a new listing. And when we create this new listing, that information is going to go inside the database. There is going to be a separate video about working with data inside of Adalo and how that pertains to components. But the idea here is that components are some sort of vehicle for utilizing and displaying data inside of Adalo, and they don't necessarily just um, showcase information that's static. There are components that operate independently of a database or can do both work with the database and independently of the database. Here is an image component, and we just decided that we're going to upload an image because we want this to appear across the app and it doesn't need to, it's not um, dependent on the database at all. If we did want it to be dependent on the database, we do have the option here to 
uh, choose an image that is available inside one of our collections. Um, but again, that's not what we're doing right now. Next, components have the ability to add actions to them and actions provide the interactivity in your app. So there's a lot of different actions that can happen inside your app between updating, creating, and deleting data. There's things for notifications, link actions. Um, and again, we'll cover this in a different video. Um, but right now, what you need to know is that within each um, component, there are various places where you can add an action and that will create some sort of interactivity. So here we're linking to a different screen. So when a user clicks this button, it's going to go to that new screen. You'll get very familiar with actions as you, as you play a little bit more and build out your app. Another thing to know about components is that you can group several components together to create something entirely new. So here I'll just delete this, what we created earlier, and start adding a couple of different things to create something entirely new that maybe isn't a component right now, um, but that doesn't mean that we don't have the functionality. So if I go ahead and create a rectangle here, I'm gonna choose my primary color for it. We'll add rounding, and now it starts to look a little bit like one of those pill buttons that we have in Adalo but I'm gonna make it a little bit different. Let's go ahead and add another simple component. We'll add our circle here to the end. We'll choose our primary color, but in a different, the primary light rather. And then we're gonna go ahead and add an icon in here as well. We'll change the way that this icon looks. We'll, with the color here, We'll change the size so it's a little bit more proportional. There you go. And now this kind of looks a little bit like a toggle. We're not gonna use it as a toggle, but again, you kind of get the idea here that as we start adding components on top of each other, we're going to actually end up with something completely unique and new. Um, and that is really some of the magic of a, a designing in Adalo is that you can make something that's very unique and customized exactly for what you need. All right, so if I group this together here, then now I've just made what I feel like is my own component. All right, let's talk a little bit about a couple of notes with uh, what's kind of going on in here inside the editor, but then also what's not going on in the editor. So again, if you'll remember, I hooked up this list to the database, but it just says listing name over and over again, which maybe doesn't feel like what I want it to look like. Um, and that's really important to know is that anytime that you're connecting a component to data inside the editor, you're not going to see any of the database records inside the editor. You'll see those when you go over here and you choose to view your app. And that is when the magic of Adalo happens where your database data inside your database now appears inside the app based on what you've set up. So oftentimes we tell people just keep this previewer link open and you can go back and forth to see that the changes that you're hoping are reflected from the database actually take effect in your app. Um, the same thing is true when there's magic text. So again, we added magic text here, you know, because the little chip is here saying that this comes from the database, but it just says name here. And that's not actually uh, what we want to, to show in the end app, but this is just how it's going to look in the editor and not in the end app. One other thing to know about any of the components inside the editor is that there are a lot of additional options and settings inside the um, overflow menu that appears with every single component. So you can make things a group or a list or align or arrange them, change the visibility, which then is based on properties in your database, like I had mentioned earlier. Um, you're also able to rename your components if this is really important to you. So you home image here, and maybe this would help you if you have lots of images on your on a screen, then when you're looking at the screen level, you can 
choose the the correct or appropriate image when you are looking to maybe make some changes or get more information on them. Each component also has something like this edit styles. Now, not every component has the same information within this edit styles button, but it's just important to know that it's there in case you're looking to change the uh, something about your component, but you can't exactly find where that setting is. All right, that's a really high level overview of components in Adalo. We'll talk more about some of that database information as well as actions in later videos. But if you have any questions about components at a very high level, please let me know in the comments and I will try to answer those as soon as I possibly can.